And we want to turn our attention now to the major story of the day. Nearly two million people have already cast their ballots in just about an hour. The polls will open throughout the state of Florida. Yeah, that's right. We do have live team coverage this morning and throughout the day, of course. We do want to begin this morning, though, in Orange County with Amanda McKenzie, who is tracking the race for governor. Amanda, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, so far, more Republicans have submitted votes than Democrats in early voting, but it is still a very tight race thus far as people head to the polls today. Yesterday, Adam Putnam and Ron DeSantis were out booing voters in hopes of keeping a Republican in the governor's office. Today, Adam Putnam will be here waving signs on the side of Sand Lake Road before moving on. DeSantis. Thank you, guys. Putnam. Make sure that we're there tomorrow for victory. Racing across central Florida, gaining momentum, heading into the primaries. Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam meeting with the Cattlesmen Association in Kissimmee, urging them to get out and vote. I feel fantastic. The energy, the passion, all of the work that we've done on grassroots for the last two years comes together right now. DeSantis meeting with folks at the Speedway in Daytona Beach. I had a plan about how I thought I need what I needed to do to win. We've executed the plan, basically what I thought we needed to do, and um, you know I think we've got a lot of energy. Endorsed by President Trump, DeSantis touted the president at his rally, backing his plans for the border wall, pushing to ban sanctuary cities in Florida. Putnam making it clear this is not a national election. Well, I support President Trump's agenda, and, but I'm, this is about Florida. You know, the way you put Florida first is you put the people and the taxpayers of Florida first. You don't put the people who are entrenched in Tallahassee first. Democratic side, the three top candidates for governor spent time in central Florida over the weekend. Gwen Graham, Philip Levine, and Andrew Gillum are making their final push. The most recent poll shows Graham with a small lead. Reporting live in Orange County, Amanda McKenzie, Fox 35 News. Amanda, thanks. Looking forward to some of those races. Of course, one of the biggest local races, the race for Orange County Mayor. We continue our team coverage with Dana Jane. Uh, Dana, they're expecting big turnout in Orange County because of this race. Well, good morning, Ryan. Yeah, big race, big money. So far, the tally for spending in the Orange County Mayor's race, the primary, is $1.47 million. That's setting a record here in Orange County for a primary race for mayor. Now, Sheriff Jerry Debbings is running, and he is far out spending the other two candidates. He spent more than both of his opponents combined. And this is a three way race between Demings, Commissioner Pete Clark, and businessman Rob P Panapinto. The candidate, candidates have focused on a range of issues from their experience to job creation to public safety. The fundamental purpose of government is public safety. And if we fail in that regard, we fail as a government. Knocking on over 60,000 doors in this community, people to varying degrees feel some challenges and don't always feel safe. And so I think we need to continue to address that. We work every day in this community to make certain that it is as safe as it possibly can be. People will not be coming here to visit, like the 72 million people who came here in last year, if they didn't feel that this really was a safe place. We wouldn't have the tremendous population growth that we have if, if people didn't feel that this was a safe community. And this is a nonpartisan race here in Orange County for mayor. So that means essentially if one of these candidates gets more than 50% of the vote today, the race is basically over. If not, they head to a runoff in November. Reporting live this morning in Winter Park, Dana J, Fox 35 News. All right, Dana, thank you. And also happening today, Lake County residents voting on a property tax hike. Officials saying the money will go towards school safety initiatives. If approved, it would take effect next July. And stay right here for all your election coverage. We've got all the camps covered tonight as they watch the results come in. We will scroll results at the bottom of your screen as the polls close at 7 o'clock. You'll be able to find those results on fox35orlando.com. Starting at 7.30, our political analysts will also join Stephen Houck for live coverage on our website, on Facebook, and on Twitter. We'll have a complete wrap-up right here on Fox 35 News at 10 and 11. Of course, right back here tomorrow morning on Good Day Orlando. Mm.